G'day everyone, Count Lurchalot here and it's time for me to react to Smosh's latest video, Mr. Beast copycats have gone too far. Hmm. From what I know about Mr. Beast videos, he does a lot of dangerous stunts in his videos, so something tells me this video is gonna get violent because their stunts are gonna be even more dangerous than Mr. Beast's, and yeah, someone's likely gonna get hurt from them. Let's see if I'm right. If this video gets over one million likes, I'll shut up. SHUT UP! Uh, I'm guessing he's just telling you to shut up anyway. <laughs> this is a one billion dollar girlfriend, and she's rich enough to pull a small country out of debt. Okay. But before we get I... I'm just gonna roll with the punches for now, I think, because I'm already lost. To her, I'm gonna try five different girlfriends with different dollar values. All the way- The fact that you put dollar values on girlfriends is kind of awful. I'm just gonna say. Down to this one dollar girlfriend. So hey, it's why Courtney. Do you I like Courtney. One dollar. Um, student debt mostly, but I deliver food and I work for Uber and I also will sell feet pics if I'm late on rent. First, she's never owned anything from Gucci, not even slides or a scarf. I don't really pay attention to fashion. I spend Neither most of my I. time at the animal shelter. I volunteer helping quadriplegic dogs learn how to walk again. Aww. I'm having a lot of trouble relating to this girlfriend, and my viewer attention is dropping like crazy. So well, let's just go to cruel. my $10,000 girlfriend. So this girlfriend is over five feet long, has okay. 10 fingers, 32 yeah. teeth, and a Shrek tattoo on her neck. Wow, this girlfriend's way better than the $1 girlfriend. All right, okay guys, calm down. Give us some space. All right. All right. Oh my God, dude, she knows Fortnite! No! She knows Fortnite! I needed some time alone to get to know my $10,000 girlfriend. Yeah. So to distract my boys, I put $5 on a Roomba and put it out in the street. Okay. So how did- Okay, they're just gonna be chasing that, I get. I know Mr. Beast videos are about doing sort of like dangerous stunts, but um, this video just seems needlessly cruel. The fact that they just blow off this just decent human being girl is just beyond awful to me. I get that's the joke, but damn. That was just needlessly cruel, so this video is actually living up to its title. So we know this girl has ten fingers and knows what Fortnite is. What else are we gonna know about her? You make ten thousand dollars. I sued Ikea after getting lost in the store. I survived okay. seven Hey, how would you be able to sue for getting lost in a store? That just doesn't make sense to me. Days eating your filet and your even. Wow! Okay. So how are you gonna take me on a ten thousand dollar date? I'm sorry, what? I didn't know that was the point. Yeah. What? What do you not understand about this video? You're supposed to my ten thousand dollars. Well, I didn't understand this video either, but now I'm getting it, so I can understand the girl's confusion. My girlfriend said she had to go to the bathroom. Okay. But I think she escaped through the ceiling. But Can if you, you blame her? Ten thousand dollars. Dude, girlfriend dude, dude. Brandon just chased the room under the street. And he got hit by a car and he's bleeding out. We gotta take him to the hospital like now. Okay, Whoa. yeah, yeah, we'll take him to the hospital. But before we get to that, Jeez, I can't wait that is to show just you my one hundred thousand dollar girlfriend. But there's a twist. What? To prove I don't just objectify. What's this? I tipped cute grocery girls ten thousand dollars each. Well, that's nice. I DM'd a bad birdie in prison. I don't think that would even be possible. I don't think prisoners are allowed cell phones, or as Aussies call them, mobile phones. I paid a hot laser tag pro $25,000 to hunt me. I've actually seen Mr. Vid Beast videos like that. I buried myself and a hot woman digs me out. I, I don't even know what the appeal to that would be. First supermodel to give me CPR wins $10,000. I'm pretty sure just, well, again, I feel just a decent human being would do that. Why do they have to be a supermodel? Last chick to leave circle wins a pink car. Well, I've also seen Mr. Beast videos like that as well, so carry on. By women, my $100,000 girlfriend is actually a boyfriend. Okay. And I've never tried a boyfriend before. So, um, you, you like sports? Yeah, I like sports. I don't. That's cool. Uh, <laughs> Seems bored already. Do you already. play video games? <laughs> sure. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you ever pretend that the airplanes in the night sky are like shooting stars? What? Sometimes. Really? 
Yeah. Mm. He seems we to be connected with this guy. Really well, mm. and I guess I have a lot to think about. But yeah. the one thing on my mind right now is Mr. Gru's smokeless chew. Okay. My favorite thing about. Oh uh, no, I know what this is a reference to. Mr. Beast has a lot of paid uh, sponsorship ads within his video, so yeah, I, I get what this is a reference to. This product is it's extremely addictive. I can't go more than two hours without downing a whole container of this amazing product. Okay, it sounds like you're just advertising something very addictive, which I'm not sure if that would be allowed, actually, because I don't know if you can advertise cigarettes anymore. I know they used to, but yeah, I never saw like an ad for cigarettes growing up, it was always ads to stop smoking, and I feel, yeah, if anything, this would not be allowed. They'd have to be doing the opposite of that, trying to help people overcome addictions rather than promoting them. And deadass no cap, me and my boys have never looked cooler. For no, 25 you haven't. cents off your Oh my god, budget? Shane! I remember, he said Shane got hit by a car. Ooh, he's not looking good. Use discount code MOUTHCANCER. Oh now my god, kind of okay, again. They are literally promoting something that gives you cancer, and I do not think that would be allowed. I just, again, I've never seen, like, a cigarette ad or a cigar ad. It was all anti-smoking ads. So, yeah, I just, I, I, I get it. I get it. It's a joke. I get it. But I'm just like, but no, 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 no. I don't know what I'm complaining about. I get it. It's a joke. They are promoting something that you probably wouldn't be allowed to promote. And, yeah, I can see the humor to that. I guess Anthony's quit caring about Shane. Poor Shane. Shane's awesome. Go help Shane! Show you my one million dollar girlfriend! Uh, okay. This girlfriend drives a Kia Soul, is gold ranked in League of Legends, and cool. lives in a one bedroom apartment above a Build-A-Bear. So how do you have a million dollars? That's a good question, because from what they've described, she's not actually that rich. But, whatever, I'm sure she'll explain how she has a million dollars. I'm an entrepreneur. Oh, okay. What does that mean? That's fair. Well, I called my mom and told her I got kidnapped, so she wired me $1 million in ransom. That is pretty awful. You literally scammed your mom, and if she sees this, she'll probably know that and then sue you. So, you done mucked up. Very bad. And if you wanted to tell people you were an entrepreneur, you could have just said what Squidward said. They're entrepreneurs. They sell things to people. Sorry for the bad impression. Whoa! So you could spend like a million dollars on our date then? Oh, no, actually, probably I can't not. Because the feds found my bank account, so I gotta go to jail in two hours. Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, the feds figured out what you did, and yeah, you're going to jail. So no, she can't spend a million dollars on your date, Ian. Sorry. And now yeah. the moment you've all been waiting. <laughs> Seems to have actually started a relationship with the guy, which is cool. I'm happy for them. For. I'm finally gonna show you my one billion dollar girlfriend! Leave the poor guy who you've made a real connection with? What is wrong with you? I'm sorry, I had to do it. I had to. She's got a billion dollars and I don't really know anything else about her, nor do I really care. I mean, <laughs> she's got money. That's cool. So <laughs> how did- I love the joke here that he's completely disregarded just basically everything else about this lady. He does not care what she's like, what she does, or anything. He just cares that he, she has money. And honestly, I've got to say this about the character Ian's playing. You are a gold digger, mate. You're a big gold digger. The fact that, yeah, he doesn't care about anything regarding this woman other than he's... Other than she's rich. I mean, this might be the biggest fictional gold digger I've ever seen. I have a feeling it's not going to work out between them. Just saying. How did you make a billion dollars? Good question. Well, you know when you're at the grocery store in the self-checkout and it says, Unexpected item in bagging area. Please remove item before continuing. That's me. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do another one, do another one. Please select. Wait, can I hear that again? Out and it's How did you make a billion dollars? Well, you know when you're at the grocery store in the self-checkout and it says unexpected item in bagging area. Please remove item before continuing. That's me. Oh, yeah. Do another one, do another one. Please select your payment type. Oh, yeah. Yo, Brandon, you hearing this? Oh. Brandon's dead and okay. Okay, I'm going to make two guesses about how she got her billion dollars. 
One, she invented the self-checkout machines, and since they use in every grocer shop, that, yeah, she has been able to accumulate a billion dollars in sales. Or she's a voice actress, and she did the voice of the self-checkout, so every time it's used, she gets royalties for it, and since it's probably used... Honestly, if we're considering all of America billions of times a day, yeah, she probably gets a lot of easy royalties from that. Or either, either that, or I'm just looking way too into this, which I probably am, which is what I do, even though I keep saying, these are smosh videos, they're not supposed to make sense. Well, Shane's character is dead, I'm guessing Anthony will care, but Ian won't give a crap. Well, no, well, never mind, neither of them give a crap. How are you going to spend a billion dollars on our date? She probably Wait, warned. I thought this was a Mr. Beast video. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I said this was a Mr. Beast inspired video. Okay, I'm out of here. Yeah, Wait, can't blame what? her for that. <laughs> hey, no. Oh, oh, she stepped outside the red circle. There, there, there's Meaning. no circle. Oh, and the last one to leave the circle wins a real life Fortnite battle bus squid game among us. What? There's no circle. Shut up. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what do I do? Give me some ideas, please, please, please. Oh, that's it. What? <laughs> okay. So they've recreated Saw. Gotcha. But I have seen Mr. Beast recreate some horror stuff like Squid Game, so... Yeah, it would appear this guy has decided to recreate Saw, which is rather horrifying. <laughs> but I did see sort of like a jigsaw-y thing on Mr. Beast, I might have to see if he's done like a saw reenactment at all. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh! Hello, Brayden. <laughs> You're chained in this room, and the only way you- Oh, you missed- I want to play a game. You can get out is by using the key that I hid in your spleen. Okay. Or by using a saw to cut off your leg. Uh -huh. If you can make it out alive, you'll get a year's supply of my new Beefables beef-flavored chocolate. Okay. Good luck. Well, that's dark. To see For the most part, that was a pretty comedic video, but damn did it end on a dark note, and honestly, I expect nothing less from Smosh. And I just YouTubed Mr. Beast Saw. It would appear he's done a few trap-related videos and mentioned Saws, but nothing, like, directly relating to the Saw franchise, so I'm guessing that was just for this video. I'm guessing, anyway. I could be dead wrong. I actually kind of wish I'd watched a few more Mr. Beast videos before watching this. If you've seen my previous reactions, you'll know I've reacted to a few Mr. Beast videos, but yeah, I kind of wish I watched more. Overall, this was a crazy video, really enjoyable, a bit confusing, and that's why I wish I'd probably watched a bit more Mr. Beast videos, but overall, it was an enjoyable video, and I'm glad I watched it. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and if there's any video you'd like me to react to, please leave it in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, bye!